I'm Melba Sullivan. And Hi. And uh, we have been living in this house for almost two years and we've enjoyed it very much. We enjoyed the planning process and the building process and we're very happy to share it with you. Mike and Melba did a lot of study of different heating systems for the house and the ground source heat pump, which is what they chose, is what's actually installed in here and uh, they can talk about the use of it, but basically what it is, is it extracts heat from the earth around the house, converts that to warm water that's then circulated through the tubing in the floors. The owners chose a heat pump because it promised to be cheaper than the only alternatives for this site, bottled gas or oil. It has proven to be cheaper than even natural gas because of the efficiencies of the hydronic floor and this home's high affinity for solar heat. Solar heat is gained through these large and beautiful south glazings. Another thing about this house you might notice is that the south portion of the house is an open plan. So the living room flows into the dining room, it flows into the kitchen and into the main hallway. So that the light that plays through the house through the day is not interrupted by partition. So you don't get uh, darker rooms and lighter rooms. The whole south end of the house is pretty much open to the sunlight during the, the winter as well as during the summer. Although in the summertime, the overhangs help to shade that and keep the sun out of the house, which keeps the house cooler. Board in the uh, throughout June, and but in November and December, it goes all the way over here. In fact. Uh, right now, and it's uh, when it's November, and it isn't even noon yet, you can see how far the sun has come in the windows and is heating this floor. By December 21st, it'll come all the way over here to these piano legs and to the stairway. And so during that time, the furnace doesn't have to heat at all. We're getting all the heat we need from the sun whenever the sun is shining, and it shines a lot in December and January and February. There's that piano and stairs over half the way into the house. Let's go have a look at that patio door again. This is the main south face of the house. The dominant solar gainer is this patio door adjacent to the elevated deck. The white painted deck helps reflect light and heat from the sun. It's even more effective when it's covered in snow. Assisted by reflective mini blinds within two layers of glass, natural light and the heat of the sun reduce this home's dependence on electricity. The mini blinds also help reduce nighttime losses as Melba describes. We close them at night because it gives us a feeling of warmth reflecting back the light and the heat from here. We, al it, uh, we always do close them at night. Doors have an R value of 2 as compared to the side walls which are at least 10 times as high. She finds them very useful as nighttime insulators, helping to keep the warmth of the home from escaping through her patio doors. This is a graphic illustrating the use of blinds as thermal insulators. On the subject of sidewalls, we can see here another significant design feature provided by Gimme Shelter Builders. This detailing comprised of a special white plastic liner called Too Tough, 3M vapor barrier tape, and these special plastic boxes for electrical outlets called Tremco vapor barrier boxes. This detailing provides a quantum leap in the technology of sealing out the cold here on the central Wisconsin windswept prairie. Combined with thicker cellulose packed sidewalls, this technique called super insulating has elevated this home to its award winning status. As both the architect Tom Brown and Mark Klein and Jim McKnight of Gimme Shelter won the 2000 Energy Value Housing Award for most efficient home design for a cold climate area. Let's hear our award-winning architect, Tom Brown, tell us more about the thermal mass in this uh, home. Because of its passive solar aspects, has a lot of thermal mass, and that thermal mass is con concentrated in two areas. One is the floor. We have a concrete slab. It has tubing in it that circulates warm water for the radiant heating system, but that also serves as a thermal mass to soak up the heat of the sun during the day and carry that through to night, so it acts as a thermal flywheel, keeping the temperatures in the house quite even. And in the summertime, that thermal effect also helps to keep the house cool. So that thermal mass in the main slab on the main floor is repeated in the basement with a second slab, which also has hydronic radiant tubing in it. And then, in addition, all of the wall surfaces are 5 8 inch gypsum boards, so heavier than normal drywall, coated with thin coat plaster. So there's about 10 tons of mass in the wall surfaces in this house. There's about 65 tons of mass in the two slabs upstairs and downstairs. So there's a significant amount of thermal mass to hold the heat. 
This floor has tubes embedded within it through which fluids seen here in a visible manifold circulate the heat provided by the warmth of the Earth. This warmth is multiplied by an electric device similar to your air conditioner or refrigerator used in reverse. It elevates 40 to 50 degrees of the Earth's temperature to the 65 to 90 degrees supplied to the floor. The last but not least of great energy saving features seen here is the mass storage wood burning fireplace. It channels these combustion gases of the normal wood fire in an extraordinarily long path through almost three tons of bricks that comprise this massive decorative home feature. The heat from a single small fire dissipates heat slowly all day or all night, gently supporting the heat gained from the sun and that extracted from the earth. All of this warmth is efficiently conserved by super insulation and an airtight home envelope design. What a cozy place to live, especially here in Wisconsin where it regularly gets to 10 below zero or much worse. This award winning design was achieved without significant added cost. Well worth the effort. The cozy hydronic floors warmed by the heat of the earth and the sun protected by loss from super insulation is an easily achievable ultimate design for your home. We hope that after viewing this you will adopt any or all of these concepts your future home design.